Through this video, we will learn how to start and stop the H100 AC drive. Starting methods include ACC and DC start, and stopping methods include DEC, DC brake, free run, and power braking. ACC starting method is a general acceleration method. If there is no separate function selection, when the operation command is input, the acceleration time is reflected and acceleration is reached to the target frequency. The DC start starting method applies direct current voltage to the motor and then accelerates it. DEC stop method is a general deceleration stop method. If there is no separate function selection, it decelerates to 0 Hz and stops, reflecting the deceleration time. The DC brake stop method can be used when you want to stop the motor by applying DC voltage at the set frequency during deceleration. Free run stop method is a function that blocks the AC drive output when the operation command is turned off. Power braking stop method is a method of controlling the deceleration slope or re-accelerating to reduce the regenerative energy when the AC drive DC voltage rises above a certain level due to the motor regenerative energy. The starting and stopping method can be set according to the characteristics of the equipment for loads that use mechanical brakes, such as fans, pumps, lifts, and elevators. Let's learn about startup method settings. ACC acceleration starting method is a general acceleration method. If there is no separate function selection, when the operation command is input, the acceleration time is reflected and the acceleration reaches the target frequency. In ADV7 start mode, select and set ACC, which is 0. The DC start starting method applies DC voltage to the motor for the set DC start time and then accelerates. If the motor is rotating before voltage is output from the AC drive, DC braking will stop the motor rotation and then accelerate. It can be used in vertical loads using mechanical brakes on the motor shaft when constant torque is required even after opening the mechanical brakes. The DC braking amount of DC injection level can be set based on the motor rated current and must be set to a value within the AC drive rated current. Select one DC start in ADV start mode 7. When DC start is set, ADV 12 DC start time and ADV 13 DC injection level is activated. At ADV 12 DC start time, press the enter key and set the time using the direction keys. The time can be set from 0 to 60 seconds, depending on the equipment status. At ADV 13 DC injection level, press the Enter key to set the DC input amount. Set the level using the direction keys and then press the Enter key to complete the setting. The direct current application amount can be set from 0 to 200% depending on the machine status. Let's learn about stopping method settings. The DEC stop method is a general deceleration stop method and, if there is no separate function selection, it decelerates to 0 Hz and then stops depending on the deceleration time. Let's learn how to stop DEC using the keypad. You can set the stop method by pressing the Enter key in ADV8 stop mode. Use the direction keys to move to 0 DEC and press the Enter key to complete the setting. The DC brake stop method is used for high speed spindle motors. Even after stopping, it can move slightly due to high speed inertia 
So, applying direct current braking completely stops the motor. Set 1 DC brake in ADV8 stop mode. When the frequency set in ADV number 17 DC brake frequency reaches the corresponding frequency level during deceleration, DC voltage is applied to the motor and stopped. ADV 14 DC block time sets the time to block the AC drive output before starting DC braking. ADV 15 DC brake time sets the time for applying direct current voltage to the motor. ADV 16 DC brake level can be set by adjusting the amount of direct current braking based on the motor rated current. Let's learn how to set the DC brake stop using the keypad. When you press the enter key in ADV number 8 stop mode, a screen for setting the stop method appears. Move the cursor to number 1 DC brake and press the enter key to activate DC brake related parameters. When you press the enter key in ADV number 14 DC block time, a screen where you can set the time will appear. Use the direction keys to set the time and press the enter key to complete the setting. The AC drive output blocking time can be set from 0 to 60 seconds depending on machine status. When you press the enter key in ADV number 15 DC break time, a screen where you can set the time will appear. Use the direction keys to set the time and press the enter key to complete the setting. The DC voltage supply time can be set from 0 to 60 seconds depending on equipment condition. When you press the enter key in ADV number 16 DC brake level, a screen where you can set the DC braking amount will appear. Use the direction keys to set and press the enter key to complete the setting. The braking amount can be set from 0 to 200% depending on the equipment condition. When you press the enter key in ADV number 17 DC brake frequency, a screen where you can set the frequency will appear. Use the direction keys to set and press the enter key to complete the setting. The DC braking start frequency can be set to 0 to 60 Hz depending on the equipment condition. Free run stop method is a function that blocks the AC drive output when the operation command is turned off. Even when the AC drive output is blocked, the load inertia of the motor is large, and when operating at high speed, the motor may rotate due to the inertia of the motor for a long time. The free run stop method is a function that blocks the AC drive output when stopped, and has the same effect as equipment that operates on direct line. When free run stop is used, regenerative energy from the motor is blocked from entering the AC drive and an overvoltage trip does not occur. Let's learn how to set free run stop using the keypad. When you press the enter key in ADV number 8 stop mode, a screen for setting the stop method appears. Use the direction keys to move the cursor to number 2 free run and press the enter key to complete the free run function setting. Power braking stop method adjusts the deceleration slope or accelerates again to reduce the regenerative energy when the AC drive DC voltage rises above a certain level due to the motor regenerative energy. It can be set and used when a short deceleration time is required without a separate braking resistor and braking unit. Please note that the deceleration time may be longer than the set deceleration time, and when using it for a load that frequently decelerates, damage may occur due to motor overheating. Let's learn how to set DC braking and stop using the keypad. When you press the enter key in ADV number 8 stop mode, a screen for setting the stop method appears. 
Use the direction keys to move to number 4 power braking and press the enter key to complete the power braking setting. We have learned about the starting and stopping methods of H100. Thank you.